But there's a level five. There's another level five. There's another level five, and there's another level five. We had a pretty amazing hunt yesterday. We ended up taking down a giant level six diamond potential Truex mule deer. He didn't quite make diamond, but I was recently informed by EH19 to watch Flinner's video, and he describes that if you take down every Truex mule deer buck on your map, it will come back as the true level it's supposed to be. Knowing this makes me want to go out and find every single giant buck that we can, and I actually have a really good spot where we have a tree stand set up, and that's where we took down that level six yesterday i counted four different five medium bucks in that one spot and i think there was two level fours and three level threes there was just a ton of bucks over there so we're gonna head over there try and get in the stand take the 30 odd six and see if we can't get ourselves down a couple of giant track bucks and there's our five right over there that's one of the five mediums that i saw from the other day there's another one i believe over here unless that's a big four that's a four and that's a four now this is what's going to happen this is probably going to come back as a three this is probably going to come back as a three and this five is going to come back as a four depending on what the weight estimate is on this buck potentially with the weight estimate like that that's not even max weight that could come back as like a big three so you never really know um 460 is max weight but since this buck is actually gonna walk away here, actually, we got a really nice four right underneath us here, and I think we're gonna take him down with a bow before that five takes off. But yeah, he's right there. So we're gonna take this opportunity and make a nice double lung liver on him. That'll take him down right there. That's actually not a bad buck right there too. He's coming into about like 25 yards out here, so we should be able to take him down right there perfect shot and he's down well we got this four over here that's actually not a bad size four probably gonna come back as a big three or a small four and then our five is actually right over here he's in this grass we could potentially take a shot right there yeah we should be able to take that shot look like a good hit and we'll be able to get the four but just not how i wanted it to uh, look like a good hit. Okay, so both those bucks actually should be down. So let's hop down, grab these two fours, and then go over and grab that five. All right, we'll grab this buck first. And nice 226 gold. Double lunged him at 14 yards out. That's actually probably going to come back as like a big three. And this one, actually, we double lung hard shot him at 29 yards. He's going to score 216. This one's probably going to come back as a pretty big three as well. So we'll grab both these bucks here. I think this is going to be our five. So we'll grab... Oh my god! There's a gobbler right there. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to spook or not, but we're going to try and put our 320s in real quick into the bow and see if we can't take them down. We'll draw back and go for kind of a headshot. Oh, we got him! We got him! <laughs> nice! So let's go over here and pick up this gobbler. And then we'll pick up the other... That was a max weight 4.4 and a neck shot 18 yards away with the bow. So here's the level four that we hit. Stomach intestine at 150. 2060 would have been a gold, but a small gold. He's probably gonna come back as like a either a small three or a big three. So here's gonna be our big level five, which he's gonna score 247. Double lunged him at 160. That right there does have a really cool rack. His left side is actually quite a bit taller than his right side, but a 247. And he actually is kind of borderline max weight. So he's probably going to come back as like a big, big four. We got a couple level fours here. They're kind of small, but I really would like to get them to come back as at least level three. So, you know, potentially if it comes back as like a rare, then we should be setting pretty good. But I would rather have it come back as the correct score. They're both piled up right next to each other. Scratch that, scratch that. Um, Yeah, they both should be level fours, but... 339 that's gonna come back as a level three for sure cool rack though and that's gonna be another uh probably come back as a level three as well 214 kind of a small estimate but not a bad buck there so i think we're gonna take down some of these gobblers with uh 22 just because i haven't used it very much so let's see if we can't take down all right i think we got a few of them. <laughs> that one just piled up right there. That is the first one. We didn't hit low. We just hit it right in the sternum. I mean, 
if we would have had more penetration, it would have hit the heart. As you can see right behind there, that's where the heart is. But a 4.3 gold. And then this is the probably... Oh, we hit this one twice? I don't remember taking a shot at a gobbler twice. We must have accidentally hit it the second time. <laughs> I was trying to hit a hen and uh, we accidentally hit this one. But another would have been heart shot, but we hit it right in the sternum, a 4.2 gold. We'll just grab these two hens here real quick. Lower neck shot on that one at 234. Now we got this one here, left lung at 232. And then the other one piled up right over here. That was kind of mid-flight, which that was a good shot. 192 and right lung on her. So the next spot we're going to go is actually kind of one of my top secret spots where you really wouldn't think that there'd be a lot of mule deer here, but there's mule deer, elk, black bear, and mountain lion all in this one spot. Turkey as well too, and even bighorn sheep. But it's right in the middle of the map here, just south of this lake here, the uh, Ore Outpost, and go south. This little lake right here, come here from uh, 9 o'clock in the morning till 10.30, and I have a tent set up right here. I enter this direction, and I stop right about here. I have a stand here, so if I need to, we can get in the stand and hunt, but I've actually taken out so many max weight muleys all in this one spot. And we should be there right about now. Look at all the mule deer. Oh my god. Look, there's one. Actually, that's a level four, but there's a level five. There's another level five. There's another level five, and there's another level five. Four level five melees here, and that's actually a pretty big dilute level four, but I think that's gonna come back as a level three. So it looks like one level five might potentially get away from us, but hopefully he'll slow down and uh, come back. Anyways, we're gonna try and take down for sure three of them. And it just so happens there's a really cool rock right here that if we lean forward a little bit, we should be all right to not hit the rock. We're going to go for that four as well, but we definitely want to get the five. That's actually a giant five right there. 260. Take a look at the weight estimate on that buck. That's a max weight uh, level five muley right there. So that means he's either going to come back as a big four or potentially like a small five. See, that's a small four estimate there. And then this guy here, that's another max weight on the estimate on that buck right there, up to 252. And this buck here is another max weight estimate. So all three of these bucks could potentially come back as a level five, a small level five or a giant level four. But honestly, this buck here has some really cool character. He's 250 yards out and I think we're gonna get ready to take a shot on this giant buck. Wow, look at that, two beautiful bucks. First shot was perfect. The second shot should have been liver, which, oh my God. I thought I just saw like a level six, but that was actually our five that we hit that had just really messed up rack on them. And uh, wow, those are some beautiful looking bucks. That's actually a five. We got to go for this one. We definitely have to go for this one. He's 260 out. And we're gonna try for the top of the heart. Must have missed it, but definitely should have been a good hit. Wow, look how wide that thing is. And he just piled up right there. So we should have three level five muleys down. Wow. Now imagine if even one of those comes back as a true level five. That's going to be pretty crazy. And I'm really looking forward to seeing if that does really happen. And a very small one there. I do see two bucks down. One right there and one right there. And the other buck should have ran off this way here. I think we hit a little bit far back on that one, on the second one. But it was quartering away, so I felt confident that we'd catch the liver. Okay, so according to this, it looks like there was one right here, vital hit. And one right here, vital hit. Actually... These are our first two bucks, I do believe. So let's swing by here and take a look at both of these bucks. This is the one I think we hit in the liver. Uh, yes, it is the one we hit in the liver. That is an incredible looking buck. Look at how wide that thing is. I wanna take a look at how wide. 37.35 inside on the spread on that beautiful buck. A 252, and we'll take a look, just like I thought. Caught the back of the lung. Ended up getting double lung and liver, though. So that's a beautiful muley buck right there. So then this should be the first buck that we ended up getting. And according to the rack on that thing, I do believe that this should be the first buck that we got. 
I ended up getting a double lung and a 242. A really cool rack on this buck here. And uh, let's just take a look at where we hit. I was trying to catch the top of the heart, but still a beautiful shot. 242 blonde, but that's another level five. But max weight like this, he's going to come back as either a big four or potentially a small five. And then we hit that other five over here somewhere, I believe. So this is going to make our third level five muley here. We ended up getting a 266 yard left lung shot. Actually hit a little bit far back from the heart there, but another really wide buck. And this one's probably going to come back as a level four but probably like a pretty big one. So there was still one level five that we didn't get last time we were here. And that's actually gonna be him right here. I thought we head back to the same spot. That has some pretty incredible forks on him actually. Um, he's not max weight, but that's a really cool buck. And I also wanna get this dilute buck here as well. So ideally, if we could get both of those down, it would be kind of perfect. But he's about 68 out right there. I want mine going for that. But maybe we can get him to come a little bit closer. Well, he's actually stopped out there at about 81 yards. It's kind of borderline far. But I'm actually pretty comfortable to take this shot. If we can take him with the bow, then we should be able to take down the dilute right after that. But that's an awesome looking buck. Well, we would have been able to take the shot, but now this buck here is kind of blocking the shot for us. So we're going to have to try and either wait or call that guy out a little bit further. But honestly, 78 yards is not bad. So if we hold for a 68, oh, that's perfect. Got him. Oh, he piled up. He piled up. Our dilute didn't spook yet. Our dilute's right there. We should be able to take him as well. That's a great buck. We'll go for him. And we'll go for him. So we got our five medium down and the dilute that we wanted from last time. That was pretty awesome. That actually would make four five medium mule deer in this spot so here's the bonus buck that we got and uh 198 double lung but then this is our five medium 245 blonde double lunged him at 76 yards out with a bow but that rack is so cool that i think we have to get him mounted i don't want to spend any more money the size of the forks on that thing it's just that is so cool that really is. I don't even know what you would call that, but I guess like the length of the tine on the fork, that is so unique right there. That's a great looking buck. Well, I guess for whitetail, you call them split G2s, but I don't know if you call mule deer the same thing or not. And here's our dilute. That's going to be a 226 gold left lung at 86 yards out. That's a really cool looking dilute as well. And the fact that he made gold, I kind of want to keep him. So I thought we head back to our trophy lodge here. We actually have a pretty good setup. The one on the left is a giant time potential that we got yesterday. That's the six hard. That's this guy here. And then this is actually our second biggest one. This one scored 283. He had a super high rack on him. That one there, I think scored like 282. Okay, so this one scored almost the same as this one, but he had a couple more stickers on him. And this buck here is actually our first buck that we ever got. He scored 247. If I could ever get close enough to him, I could spot him. Okay, there we go. 247.4. But then today, this is the one that we got today. He has... Uh, he actually has split G2s and he's really unique and cool. So I am so glad to have him in here. And if you give me one second, I can jump up there and take a better look at him for you. That's a little bit better. This buck here is so unique. The fact that it has double split G2s, it kind of reminds me of a whitetail and like a big mule deer all mixed into one. He definitely makes a nice finishing touch to our wall here. So yeah, overall, I think we're going to look pretty good just like that. Yeah, I'm liking this quite a bit. Of course, uh, imagine if we could get lucky enough to get this six to come back as a true five, potentially he might come back a little bit bigger and actually be a diamond. 
But I mean, that's still an incredible buck. This is the buck we got yesterday with the bow at 80 yards out of a tree stand. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to check that out yet, make sure you definitely check the end screen of this video because it will be linked right there. But yeah, overall, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you found that spot helpful because it's really good. Trust me. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.